main thing is not to let it define you. You know, don't make a career out of being a single mum because um, that just seems such a waste, you know. What about all the other things you are? Um, and I, I think it teaches you things like, you know, very good life skills, time management, management of any kind, communication skills, you know, dealing with conflict, all those kind of things. And it's amazing how um, well equipped you are then to deal with life in general after being a single mum, because you've had to hold pretty much every position in any given company that you might want to work in, you know. Um, you've been everything from the kind of bottle washer to the top executive, you know, and you've had to wear so many different hats. I do think it shows you how resilient you are, and it really, really increases your opportunities to learn new skills, you know, DIY, um, financial planning, <laughs> you name it really, car maintenance. All those things, I think I would have been far lazier about learning some of those things had I not been forced by necessity to, to, to get a bit smarter about them. What we've perhaps all come across in our lives is a person who never quite got over it, who's remained in victim mode. And whilst there are some benefits, strangely enough, to being in, in victim mode. You know, people feel sorry for you, and they make a big fuss of you, um, they give you a lot of sympathy and support. There is a limited time that you can play the victim card. And I remember meeting someone when I was single who said to me, yeah, but there's only a limited time, amount of time you can dine out on that story, isn't there? And I thought, yeah, very, very good point. Do I want to be defined by the fact that I was left with two small children. Do I want to be defined by the fact that I'm an abandoned single mother? And my answer was very definitely, no thanks. There's so much more to me than that. One of the things I ask my clients is, yes, and what else are you? Is that all that you are or is there something more? And we keep going until they realize that, yep, they're a really great human being. They have lots of resources, they have lots of talents. They have a bright new future, they're a wonderful mum, they're a fantastic friend, on and on we go. Sometimes when you're in victim mode, it's very, very hard to find a way out of it. And I really give people the ladder, here we go, up you climb, so that you, yes, something bad happened to you, but look how you've turned it around. Look what you've done with it.